Om Shanti, we are doing the recording of 13th, that is yesterday's and today's 14th of July, where Supreme God Father in yesterday's blessing wants us to become an embodiment of success, embodiment of power, and that he wants us to do by staying in remembrance of the Supreme Creator himself. Let's understand this in details. God says, may you be an easy effort maker and experience a constantly powerful stage by becoming an embodiment of remembrance. So just like a phone charger is connected to the point and the phone is connected to the charger constantly and it is getting powerful every second. It is connected, that's why. Similarly, we souls need to be connected to the Supreme Charger, that is the Supreme God for the Supreme Creator. So that we are feeling powerful all the time and not weaker at moments. So God says only those who are embodiments of remembrance can be constantly powerful and victorious. Such souls are called easy effort makers. Victorious over what? Victorious not over other people. There is no fight going on but victory over our own vices, victory over our own weaknesses. They remain constantly unshakable in every situation no matter what happens. Even if a situation as big as the biggest mountain comes to them, even if there are clouds of conflicts of sanskars, that means two people, their habits are not matching. You have conflict of sanskars, conflicts of opinion. Even if the elements of nature test them, that means some kind of physical ailment, some kind of outer five elemental problem comes. Like Angad, they do not allow the feet of their minds or intellects to shake. So there's a story about anger that his feet could not be moved by anybody. Similarly over here, the feet of mind and intellect that it is supposed to be done, it will be done no matter what. So their feats of minds and in intellects do not shake. Instead of reminding themselves of the upheaval of the past, they put a full stop. They don't go about, this thing happened to me, if this thing hadn't happened, this would have happened. happened. If this person wouldn't have done something like this, this situation wouldn't have come. They don't go into the past and shake their legs. I mean, the feet of their mind and intellect. They don't get shaken up. Because blaming, complaining is shaking. They can never be careless. They're careful, but at the same time, carefree. Carefree about what? They are carefree about having to fight every single time with the vices. And they are careful about not forgetting Supreme God Father and always being in remembrance so that they don't have to work very hard. And that is what God wants us to do. So that even the, if there is a conflict of sanskars, conflict of ideologies, conflict of anything, either five elemental or any personal thing or any kind of other conflict, it doesn't hamper we are still maintaining the same kind of enthusiasm, same kind of happiness, same kind of zeal and getting the work done, no matter what. So how do you become a person like that, so powerful, is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris and through the power of remembrance. You too can go ahead and learn it with this Om Shanti.